Yo, I want to become a real estate agent. What do you think? Is it good for me or no? If this is your question, then this video is for you. I'm going to go over five pros and five cons of being an agent in Canada. Namaskar, Aditya here. So, you know, first of all, the reason I picked this topic is I've been asked by many people, especially investors or people who are fed up with, uh, you know, jobs because, hey, you know what? I hate my job. I would like to try something new. Would it be a great opportunity to become an agent or some investors who are like asked me, hey, you know what? Do you think, uh, would you recommend being an investor, become an agent? So now I can keep all the commission whenever I'm buying and selling. So if this is your position, I really think you must know all the pros and cons of becoming an agent before even you start writing, you know, start taking the exams because exams are freaking huge process. You spend a lot of time, hours and hours to get the license, first of all, and a lot of money. Like I didn't see the recent exact amount, but roughly over 7,000 for getting the license and then for keeping the license, you pay board fees and you pay uh, brokerage fees, you pay board monthly fees and other stuff. So at least you will be spending over 10,000 every year to carry your license. So, you know, if this career is not good for you, you just wasted all your time and money. So that's why I would strongly recommend stick till the end and ask me questions if you have anything you know specific that i haven't covered in this video or anything that related to the sales i'm more than happy to help you only favor i would ask is hit that thumbs up button so let's start with the cons because you must know first what's bad about to being a salesperson so number one con is you know there is no fixed income because this is purely a sales job so that means only you get paid whenever a transaction is firmed up and the transaction is closed so a buyer purchase a property from the seller if you're helping the seller or the buyer you get paid like you are the last one to be get paid once the transaction is ended the lawyer takes money from the buyer and give it to the seller and the seller lawyer pays to the brokerage and the brokerage pays to you that means you're the last one to be get paid again there is no way to determine how much money you're gonna make number two there is no fixed hours so basically i would say just be prepared to be working like more than 10 12 hours a day especially if you're new like i literally worked in my first year maybe sometimes even 16 hours a day and no weekends i work again would it have to be like that not really but the thing is in reality initially it has to be like that because you have to work freaking hard that you have to learn so many things so that means you will have to spend hours and hours and number three no one is there to guide you if you were working in a company you will have your boss to tell you what exactly to do if you are investing all you need to do have is money and a knowledge about what you want to buy but whereas the sales here Yes, you have brokers, but the thing is technically they don't guide you in every step. They don't tell you what to do because they have their own business to run. Maybe they have some training courses. Of course, you know, the training and all those things are helps. But at the end, who is the one going to pick their time? So there is no fixed timings in this here, right? So you're going to go sit on your computer, say, OK, these are the hours I'm going to work. These are the things I'm going to learn. So it's pretty much everything has to come from self motivation because literally trust me even if someone promise you that i'll have your back I'll, I'll make sure you know what you're doing and all those things trust me that's not true because at the end a salesperson is an individual who is running his own business so just fyi make sure you prepare your mind number four sales is a lot of emotions let me break it down what i mean so every transaction involves so much emotion so buyer he's spending his hard-earned money which is like you know hundreds of thousands 
that means he's tensed he's he's scared sometimes his mind shifts so now you being a professional you have to guide the process seller same thing seller oh you know he lived in the house forever and now he see that all the other properties are selling like x amount and they want that amount which the other neighbors sold for and whereas the property is not that great and has so many things that need to be fixed to get that price but you got to be as a professional now willing to take both sides and you know understand their emotions and also like you know you're dealing with other agents you're dealing with the broker you're dealing with the paper so so much emotions carried around you should be first of all be prepared because it's not like a job right like someone gives you a work you're done you did your task maybe hardly you communicate with your boss but here you're communicating with the seller with the buyer with the buyer agent with the seller agent with the broker lawyer inspector mortgage broker so so many people you need to communicate with that means so much emotions involved in the transaction so you got to be a people's person you got to understand or you got to be willing to learn how to communicate how to carry yourself even during this kind of emotions and number 5 in real estate freaking no day is same so literally one day you could be this showing the property or you could be listing the property one day it could be like just negotiating one day you're you're doing all the paperwork so there are freaking so many things in this transaction in in this real estate career so no day will be same if you're a person like hates to have a, you know different things every time different tasks doing different tasks every day then this career is not for you so now you know what are the cons but trust me there are super solid pros as well because that's the reason why i am an agent and i enjoy being an agent of course there are times where i felt like what the fuck where am i sorry uh, forgive my words but i was in that situations too in this my last one and a half year journey but definitely i'm not going to leave this career in at least in next 5 years i love this i love what i see so first of all the reasons is the reason number 1 This is a career where you have no limits when it comes to making money because if you're working as a in a job or as a IT guy or a sales manager or whatever any specific job in a company you have a limit probably you will start with 50000 per annum you grow to 100000 maybe 150000 maybe 200000 that's there is a limit whatever your big boss makes that's what you're going to make but in this career as an agent i have seen many people make million dollars a year 2 million a year and of course people make 100 10000 a year so it really depends on how you position yourself but you have that limit i been only one and a half year as an agent guess how much i sold let me know in the comments below your guesses i freaking sold close to half a million so far my gci my gci like before taxes my gross commission is close to half a million in one and a half year and already like 3 months were covid time so if i was in my previous job my annual income was 80000 that's before tax as well so that means in order for me to make 500000 in a one and a half year maybe i would not even consider one and a half year because 3 months covid already screwed up so minus that 3 months it's 115 months i would have made 100000 in my job whereas as a real estate agent i made five times of that now that's not just ending it's a beginning i just started being a real estate agent so that means i see there is lot more potential because you know now i have a bunch of clients now if whoever loves my service they're going to refer me more clients and i'm going to you know do more transactions and now i have a team no limits to making money but you got to be self motivated you got to be willing to learn so many stuff number 2 another awesome freaking pro with being a real estate agent is you don't need prior skills i'm a new immigrant to canada it's been only 8 years I was a IT guy no sales background I was still making money 
Of course, not everyone can do that, but everyone who is open-minded to learn and execute what they learned, they're gonna make it. Just like me, I have seen many people who made it and tons of people who didn't make it. In real estate career, like sales career in Canada, North America, I would say, there are more than 80% of the people who are agents doesn't make not even a, like a normal regular job salary, like 50,000. But the 20% of the people, they make shitload of money. So it's pretty much you willing to learn the skills. So no matter where you are standing, no matter what you have, it's pretty much, are you willing to do? Are you open to learn? Are you a teachable? Then you can make such an awesome career. Number three, a lot of tax benefits. So right now, still the Canada, Ontario, they're in the process of making the real estate has a, like a corporation too. Like we can open a corporation, self, self corporations. But at the moment still, you can write off your car payments. You can write off your gas payments. You can write off all the dinners that you go. You can write off your office. So any expenses that are related to your sales, you can write off all those things. Whereas in the job, even though you travel every day to your job, it's not right off. Even though you have your own house, you cannot write off even if you're working from home. But whereas with the self-employed, now I work from my office and I can write off some of my mortgage payments. I can write off some of my utility bills. I can write off some of these things, right? So a lot of tax benefits. Of course, I'm not an accountant. Don't just rely on me. Talk to your accountant for detailed information. I'm just giving you a, a random guy, giving a like top overview of, of uh, taxes. And number four, now you're an agent, you're in the real estate market every day. That means you're an insider, like how in stocks, insider gets the first opportunity to invest in such companies or something. You, you will be presented with opportunities first and then other people because they're insiders. Same thing with the real estate. When you're an agent, now your day to day is all about how is the market doing? What kind of you know situation we are in? Is it seller's market, buyer's market? If any seller is willing to sell, now either they call you or other agents, and other agents, if they know that you're a real estate investor, they call you. Or if you're an agent who has a lot of buyers or sellers, they call you. So now you're in the game. Now you understand. Now you have that market advantage and you can invest more, you can help your family and friends. So that's a freaking thing. Being an insider helps to grow faster. Number five, this is my favorite one because when I was working in IT, all the tasks that I get, I hate to do some of them. So I was a programmer, right? Like I was like a full stack developer where all the websites that you see, there are so many people involved who does those websites like some people will do the graphics some people will do the front look and feel some people will do the back end uh, coding so i was like a full cycle developer and i hate to do front end but i cannot do anything i have to do that work but here being an agent now i hate paperwork and that's where i delegated my work to my wife i hired my wife and i i hate editing and slowly my wife started to hate editing and she's doing a fantastic job but she was like not passionate about it so we slowly delegated to another editing company an awesome company that my friends running so delegation any task that you hate to do you can delegate it's just you need to learn how to do it but that's a freaking too cool thing now you can buy back time by delegating the things that you do hate to do now you're a boss of your company you just need to learn the basics solidly and then slowly delegate the things that you hate and then do the things only that produce solid results and only things that you really love to do. So that's a really advantage being a, an agent. And I know I said five pros and cons, but I have a solid bonus that my personal one, man, the biggest thing comes from being a real estate agent. You got to, you will be like, seeing every day new families are happy about their investments or about their sale or purchase. If you're doing a fantastic job like I do, you will see so many happy faces and I get like so many messages saying, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much for you know sharing your knowledge. Thank you so much for this, that. 
man it's so much fulfilling so much you know that drives my day every day like you know even though as i said all these cons i'm going through all those things still like at the end when i see a client got a property and that was like exactly what they're looking for like a perfect investment or a perfect home for them to you know raise their family when you see that genuine happy smile man that makes my day so so happy and being an agent we will see those faces every day day in and day out so that means you got like a gratitude always like once the deal is done as soon as you once they have the firm offer you get that happy smile so you will be rewarded every day not just the money but a big fulfillment of happy faces so that's all i got that's all i think and again trust me it's a great career fantastic career in my opinion but again you got to be know those things you know know what to expect if people skills is not your you know primary thing you know sorry i know i wanted to end the video but one last thing i reminded i know many people ask me why you chose from being an it guy to becoming a realtor how did you know that here is my answer i gave them and here is why i really mean first of all i know myself i know i really enjoy working with people not on the computer that's my inner strength i think it's just my personality i got from my dad he loves talking to people he loves helping that's exactly what my personality is so i knew my personality that's why i risked my career it's a big shift but because i knew my instincts i knew what i am i made the career shift so same recommendation i would give you if you know yourself better you know that after hearing all these things if you still feel that this is a perfect career man let me know in the comments below i'm willing to help you if you need anything and uh, with that thank you so much for sticking till here i know for sure if you heard my last word till here that means you gonna rock being an agent i love to see your name in the comments and stay tuned don't forget to hit that thumbs up button have a wonderful day